The COVID-19 vaccines now, they have been widely available for months, but none of them so far have gotten full approval from the FDA. Well, thanks for joining us for 13 Action News Live at 11. I'm Todd Quinones. Trisha Keen has the night off. Well, the wait for full approval comes as the government right now is encouraging people to get the vaccine. And 13 Action News reporter Jeremy Chan talked with a UNLV professor to clear up what may be confusing a message to so many people, Jeremy. Absolutely, Todd, and it really comes down to just understanding how the approval process works for the FDA. The professor pretty much says this does not mean that the COVID vaccines already out there are not safe and effective. And basically the final approval means they just have to collect more data. The rapid development of COVID-19 vaccines has been regarded by health officials as a significant step in ending the pandemic. However, none have been fully approved yet, and the current health emergency has pushed them to market quickly. When there is an emergency happening, when there's a crisis like this, uh, there is a process to get vaccines and other important medications to market faster so that we can save lives. All the available vaccines are being given thanks to an emergency use authorization. Dr. Brian Labus, a UNLV health professor, says it's a temporary form of approval that allows people to get shots while the agency, the FDA, continues to study their effectiveness and safety. He says full approval would require six more months of data. So they have to collect more data. And that in turn takes a longer amount of time to go through and ensure that we meet all those requirements to have a safe and effective vaccine. Dr. Labus says this doesn't mean the vaccines aren't already safe and effective under the emergency authorization. The vaccines that are out there under emergency use have been tested. They have been shown to be safe and effective. Uh, just the time period over which we studied them was shorter than we're going to do for that full approval. He says the Food and Drug Administration is taking its time to fully approve the vaccine so it won't undermine public confidence in its process, even in a pandemic. And none of us working in public health or working at the drug manufacturers want to endanger people. The whole point of this is to uh, save lives, keep people out of the hospital and keep them from getting to COVID. The difference between emergency authorization and full approval matters. A full approval would give school districts and other organizations legal backing to require the vaccine. Dr. Labus believes schools may be the first to have a vaccine mandate if that happens. And that's because we already have laws on the books that require a number of other vaccines to attend school. This would be adding one additional vaccine to the list of things that are already required. Now, the makers of the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines have already applied for full approval to the FDA earlier this summer, and they hope to eventually get that approval by January. Jeremy Chen, 13 Action News.